It's fit day! This is my last rush vlog ever, which is so crazy. I also like I'm realizing I really don't have any jewelry because I am not living in an apartment. I am I don't have an apartment to go to right now. Basically, um, my apartment's not ready yet. It will be ready later in this vlog. So I've been staying at my friend's house for the past week. Basically, like we've been at the house for the past eight days um, working on getting prepared for recruitment. So that's all like, it's basically like a bunch of choreography, timing stuff, but then also just conversations and getting all of the kinks out. I'm Audrey, by the way, if you're new here, um, I go to the University of Texas and I'm gonna be a senior. So this is my fourth recruitment total third time on the other side so it's really exciting um and work week was actually really fun and it was really sad that like that was my last thing like, this is just like the first last thing of my senior year um but today is philanthropy round open house is online so today is the first day that like we're having pnms which is potential new members come into our house and see us I think at UT there is 1,200 girls going through recruitment. It's really nerve-wracking, even though this is my third time, I still feel like I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna put my outfit on. Last year I got super sick, so let's all hope that I make it to bid day because last year I didn't. to give context of why I was crying because I didn't in the moment but basically at the beginning of philanthropy day one was my younger sister Ella's sisterhood round at Ole Miss so my younger sister was rushing at Ole Miss so she had called me she was kind of having a rough morning she just got her schedule back and she was crying and now it's all good she rushed a sorority and it was great um, but I talked her through it and I was just like really feeling for her because I know how hard recruitment can be and that is why I created the sorority sister it's a course that I built this year to help anyone going through rush be mentally prepared to go in confidently I think there is a lot to sorority rush and it can be overwhelming but also there's so much you can learn from it and being in a sorority is such a great experience and I want everyone to find their home and find their lifelong friends like I did in my sorority. So if you're going through Rush, I have the Sorority Rush prep course where I have a ton of videos, a ton of resources, downloads, a community chat where you can talk to me or other girls rushing and we really dive into what you should do and say during Rush but also like how to choose the right sorority for you. So check it out depending on when you're watching this video. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, even if this is in years past, I'm planning on continuing this because I want to be y'all's big sister like I was to my sister that morning. I was just helping her through it, giving her the best advice I could give her. And all of that advice is in this course and on the community group. But like I said, even if you're watching this a year later, two years later, preparing for Rush right now, I should still have a discount for my viewers down below. So if you click the link, it'll take you to the Sorority Rush prep course. I'll also follow our Instagram because hopefully we'll just keep growing. I made this with my co-founder, Kendall, who was a Rush chair at Ole Miss. So we have kind of two different perspectives going into it, but it's all videos from me and I basically just put all of my like best tips and tricks and advice and information about Sorority Rush into it. And it's been so fun this Rush season seeing the girls who took the course find their home. So I just want to give that to as many of y'all as possible. Check out the link below or check out the Sorority Sister on Instagram because there will be obviously more frequent updates that I can't tell you right now in this video. But that's where I was crying. I posted on the Sorority Sister Instagram what how she went if you're curious. But now back to philanthropy day one. Okay, I'm talking really quick because I'm literally supposed to be downstairs. But we're here, the first party's about to start. I'm basically talking like almost every party. Just took pictures, I got my little name tag. It's really exciting. I just like wasn't like really prepared um, fully. So that's why I haven't been vlogging because I've been like running around, so. I'm about to go to sleep and I realized I like haven't been vlogging. It's like hard to film during parties and stuff and in between because we have like 20 minutes in between each party and we're doing stuff in between that and like I just don't have access to my camera <sighs> i'm feeling a little frustrated rush is always like very stressful and emotions run high so i'm just gonna go to sleep but i have to be at the house at 7 15 tomorrow morning it's 10 34 and my hair needs to be done tomorrow wish me luck because i'm probably gonna be waking up at like five and even that might not be enough time but i'll try to film more tomorrow more of the house and when I have downtime and such. Morning, I'm like running so behind because basically my like light won't turn on in the hotel. Like it's like motion censored and it can't see me. So I am packing up all my stuff, running to the hotel. This is like, or sorry, the house. This is my last night in the hotel anyways. So I'm going to get ready there, but I have like less than an hour. So I'm running. This is too much. I'm so, like, I honestly am so over this. Okay, I'm here. I have to get ready. I'm just like, I'm not having a good day. Catherine and I are down bad. My eyes are so bad. I know, I like put an eye drop. I actually got ready kind of on time. We're waiting for Sam to get here because she washed her white jeans last night in Angel. So she texted us at like midnight. I know. Did you see that? We also changed our start time to be earlier, so I'm in a yeah. little bit of a mood. Same, I'm just like not really feeling it. But I curled my hair. My grand little let me in the house. Hi. It's all good. Cute. Okay, <laughs> it's lunchtime. We got Omar to bring us Papa Bob. So yummy. I hope I don't spill it on anything. It's been such a great day so far. I just talked to the most amazing girl ever. I'm so excited about her. Okay, a little ooh, Starbucks run. Um, I can't stop thinking about that girl that I just talked to, but honestly, I feel worse because I feel like I rambled on and like I, you know, I don't know if she liked me, but we have three more parties today. <sighs> Thank you. Ever since I got a new phone, I like can't get into the house. Hi. Hello. What's up? Coffee Do you want order. Vlog? Yep. Love it. Hey guys. <laughs> okay guys, it's the end of philanthropy. I haven't really filmed in the house because again, like I said earlier, it's like so back to back. But um, these were the cute tables and flowers. Basically all of this tomorrow will be completely different for sisterhood, which I'm so excited about. I'm doing some last minute things for the recruitment video. I like, made the sisterhood video and I just need to download it onto this hard drive. It's almost 5 p.m. So we got out pretty um, early today. So I'm excited to go back. I'm staying back at my friend's house regroup and everything and then do it all over again tomorrow except i love sisterhood so yeah okay it is when thursday night the days just don't even exist to me anymore this is where me and sam have been sleeping all throughout work week um and then now until we move into our apartment like all my stuff is scattered everywhere my dress for tomorrow and my boots my boots have been folded in my suitcase so they're kind of 
event. But I'm gonna do a quick little Target haul. I got cough drop and NyQuil basically. Just so also I can like really fall asleep. And then I got these earrings because I just, I have no idea what I'm gonna really wear tomorrow. What else did I get? I got myself yerba mate for caffeine in the morning, some water. We don't have to be at the house until 8.30 so I can sleep in a little bit longer. But tomorrow I have like, I'm presenting every single, every single party because I'm sister chair and I'm not prepared. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. We are currently rushing because i woke up we were supposed to be there at 8 30 and then they changed the sister um sister schedule up an hour and literally everyone's affected like the panams are waking up to this text like everything so everyone's a little stressed but we now have to be there at 7 45 it's 6 45 right now so instead of like almost two hours you ready i'm an hour but it's gonna be okay <laughs> better be okay i think i'm just gonna straight away Guys, the house is everything. Let me give you a little glimpse. The lights are off right now, but it's so cute. filming on my phone because I like don't want to get my camera but we have had our dinner break and then um, we had party nine off so we had like an extra long dinner break which is so great it's about to end in like 10 minutes so I'm about to go back inside I'm just like it's really cold in the house and so I'm just like warming myself up before I go inside but sister has been really good I like have been speaking really well which is great it's almost done but we're gonna be here for a while Hi again. I just want to preface this next clip. We are like delusional, like full on delulu hour. It's the very end of Sistered Round. Sistered Round is the like longest day. It's the most fun in my opinion. I love Sisterhood Round and I also wanted to explain that a little bit more. I was Sisterhood Day Chair. It's just a leadership position in my sorority and I basically helped the recruitment team plan this round specifically and then another committee i was on was recruitment video team so i did the sisterhood video that we show and then i do like a little presentation so i spoke in front of everyone that's why like the night before i was kind of nervous because i honestly hadn't been practicing it that much and then the day of it's obviously just like there's a lot going on and it's nerve-wracking and we're on like strict time constraints um so it's just like has to be perfect basically but it went great it was so fun to just talk about how much i love my sorority but we kind of talk about that in the next clip and just to give y'all context our voices are gone we don't usually sound like this and we're just like so tired but in such good moods because we just had like a great day but also like so out of it because we've been at the sorority house for like 14 hours at this point Hello vlog. We are after the party, basically after. <clears throat> oh fuck! I, I love, love it. it. Our <laughs> sisterhood round is so fun. We basically dance in, dance out. I did my little speech. Yeah, um, she did. She improv the last one. Twelve time. <laughs> um, I did improv the last one. The last one was the party was so cute. We played the video, and all the seniors were crying. I was crying. I got up stay on st up stage. I got on stage. It was like. I just love the sister <laughs> so much. She improved a lot. A lot of it was improv. Another improv moment today. I, I originally had a microphone and then the microphone died. So, so I just said, well, that's dead. So. Well, this was <laughs> um, but it was so fun. Like today I met so many cute girls, but basically the last party ended at 9.30. We have to wait an hour till we leave the house. So everyone's just kind of chilling. We changed and we're getting ready for breath tomorrow. Yeah, I can't wait. Our voices are like shot. Um, but tomorrow for prep, we don't have to be here till like one or two. <coughs> we don't have to be here till one or two so we can sleep in. And I'm just so happy that I'm not sick. Because last year at this time, I was literally dead. With died. the flu? I had the flu. Yeah. I didn't bring any extra shoes. So I'm either going to have to walk out barefoot or in these. 
I say you walk with one of them and then barefoot on the other. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, we're just sitting under the Alf Kai sign. This is our view. It's like the Holly. It's our version of the Hollywood sign, actually, right now. With our linens dirty. <laughs> <laughs> they like keep telling us that if someone touches the linens, you have to pay seventy five dollars. <laughs> like if you stay, if you stay in the linens, you have to pay seventy five. Grace, you want to say hi to the vlog? We're, be we're yeah, being silly in the vlog. Aww. Here, go in the middle. Hi. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna be on YouTube. Hi, vlog. Grace also did the cutest little story time after my talk. It was I should so have shouted you out as my. Hey, you made you made eye contact with me, and I started to cry. Aww. You see us? It was so cute. When you were talking, you know, yeah. you were like, "No, we're gonna emotional." You were like, <laughs> you also, you like free vote the last part." I know. Everyone keeps <laughs> saying is so impressed with my improv. No, it was really she improv like every sentence. Every sentence, <laughs> but like didn't say um or anything. And then you looked at me, and I, you were like, "It's now time for Grace to talk," and I was like. <laughs> and I was like, Grace and Meredith, yeah. there you go. Because I, I, uh, for all the other rounds, I didn't see your name. So all of oh, a sudden, no, no, it was you, like, I was Grace like, and oh, Meredith. Meredith. But but then I was I mean, what was going through my head, I was like, they're about to introduce themselves. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, happy prep day. I am running insanely late. We, like, ran to the house. I just did my makeup at the house. That's how late I was running. I was supposed to be downstairs, like, 30 minutes ago. I love... My dress though, this is the outfit. Um, I don't really have time to fully show you, but let's go down the stairs. Oh, I literally don't even have mascara on. Are we, are we making our own We're walking to the house right now. We haven't seen the list yet. Um, I know I like did not film really yesterday, but preference night was so good, so special. Seniors are wearing white dresses. Um, we feel so old. We were just talking about how we cannot believe we're seniors. But I'm so excited to see the list. The girls will run home in about an hour. You can hear my voice is, she's gone. But she's gone. it's okay, I'll still scream for them. <laughs> it looks Love. really cute. <gasps> we have the balloons or we have a good, good amount of balloons. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. I love it. So cute. I love it. <laughs> okay, they're saying names right now. My two girls that I really, really wanted are back. And I'm so excited for them to run home. So basically the sophomores have like bid day buddies. So we're just here watching them run home. It's so fun. Um, it's, it's 508. Is there screaming? Wait, are they running home already? No, I think they're just screaming. I got my girls! Woo! I'm so happy! Hey guys, we're back from bid day. Last recruitment, honestly, okay. 
I just have so much to say because I love my sorority. I did like a whole Instagram post about it today. You should go look at it if you haven't already. But like, I just feel so much support and love in my sorority and I just really hope that everyone can experience that. I feel like it's just so special and I've grown so much and like this week and the past two weeks just being with everyone really has made me so grateful and I'm glad that I did this at the beginning of my senior year because I just really want to soak up like every moment at the school and in this house. Before I leave um, my sorority house, I'm just, I'm still staying at my friend's house, which is another long story that will be in the move-in vlog, but um, I'm just so thankful and I met so many cute, MC23 girls um, that have watched my videos and stuff and I'm just like it makes my heart so happy and I just like I honestly wasn't expecting anyone to know I don't know why um, but it just makes me really happy and so I hope that all of you if you're watching this and you're going through a rush that you do it and that you find a sisterhood like I'm so excited for y'all because freshman year is so exciting and just like college is so exciting and that's why I created the sorority sister because I just want people to have the same experience as me and find the home that they're meant to be in but tonight was so much fun like I almost didn't go to the venue because a bunch of seniors went to dinner instead but I'm so glad I went to the venue because I got to talk to a lot of younger girls that were already in Alpha Chi but then also got to meet all the new girls um and it's really sweet and the three girls that I talked to during preference round all went AKO so I got to give them big hugs like the day was just so special like I feel like this was the best the day I had better than my own because mine was on Zoom better than the last one I went to in person and then I didn't go last year so this definitely tops the list it was so much fun and got a little flower crown to end the night and I'm just I'm really glad that this is just the beginning of the year and not the end um school starts tomorrow so I'll be a whole nother vlog lost my voice basically but thanks for watching for my last recruitment this is the first last of many I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video well so now I actually get to get a bride Wait, did you think a ladybug was? You for sure no, saw cockroaches. No, it was five giant cockroaches just scurried and <laughs> like two of them came. It's twelve eighteen. I'm just getting home. Not even home. I don't have home. I'm pretty sure the pinums. I they made the pinums. The pinums. I have never. <laughs> the pinums. The pinums. <laughs> <laughs>